we need to take units times the correct price and the correct discount to calculate net sales. <laughs> We'll use the VLOOKUP function to look up the product name, comma, within this table, F4 to lock it, comma. The second column has the price, so in column index, I put a 2, comma. We're doing exact match, so you put false or 0. Now Control Enter, double click and send it down. That gets the price. Because I have the whole column highlighted and the active cell is at the top, I hit the F2 key. Now I multiply times units. When I Control Enter, it populates that formula throughout the highlighted column. Those are just regular sales. Now I need to take into account that sometimes there's a discount. F2 times, and I cannot use VLOOKUP to get the discount alone, because these discounts are the number of pennies for each dollar that I need to subtract. So in parentheses, 1 minus. And then I have to look up the units, comma, within this table, F4, comma, the second column has the discount. And here, the default is approximate match, which is what we're doing. So I leave that argument out. Close parentheses on VLOOKUP. Close parentheses on the discount. Now, for any given discount, it'll say, please take $1 minus how many pennies? The remaining amount will give us amount paid. Control Enter to populate the formula all the way down. Now, I've already applied number format, and you could see up here. But in this type of formula, we want to apply the general number formatting to have a visual cue that we have lots of extra decimals. Since this is money, we need to round. So F2, after the equal sign. Round, tab. And that whole formula is just a number. So I very carefully come to the end with my I beam cursor, comma, 2 to tell it to round to the penny, close parentheses, Control Enter. And that's my Excel formula for discounted sale. All right, here's the bonus formula. And this formula will work in Office 365 Insider. Now, if we don't like to lock our ranges and then enter the formula and copy the formula down, with Office 365, there's a new method for making formulas. Not only that, but we don't have to use VLOOKUP. We can use XLOOKUP. Now, XLOOKUP has a lookup value just like VLOOKUP. But instead of giving it a single value, I'm going to highlight all of the lookup values. That tells XLOOKUP when it gets the price to automatically get all the prices and spill them down the column. Comma, the lookup array, that's the column with the items we want to try and match. This would be the first column if we were using VLOOKUP. And I don't have to lock it. Comma, return array, those are the values we want to try and go and get and bring back to the cell. The remaining arguments we can leave out, and the default is exact match. So when I close parentheses and hit Enter, all the prices are spilled down the column. Now, very importantly about these spilled arrays, if you look up in the formula bar, all the cells with the spilled arrays, except for the first one, are grayed out. The only cell that contains the formula is the top one. Now I hit F2 times. And we're going to highlight all the units times, in parentheses, 1 minus XLOOKUP. We're looking up all the units, comma. There's the first column of the lookup table, comma. These are the values we're trying to get, comma. If not found, that's what we want to put in the cell if we don't find anything. But we're skipping over that. And if we want to do approximate match, we use exact match or next smaller item. So we put minus 1 close parentheses, close parentheses, and that's our formula. When I Control Enter, it automatically spills the answers. F2, because we do need to round. Round number argument can take all of those items, comma 2 to round to the penny, close parentheses. And now when I hit Enter, it spills all the answers down the column. Down below, I'm going to Alt equals. That's the keyboard for the sum function, Control Enter and copy it to the side. All right, in the comments below, let's hear. Do you like this one where you have to lock it, use a single cell reference, and copy it down? Or here's the potential future of Excel. Instead of copying formulas down the columns, 
we simply highlight the entire range. Then it spills. That means we don't have to remember to lock. Let's hear what you think down in the comments below. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to learn a lot more about dynamic arrays, check out this comprehensive video or this video here.